Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Open XCOM. We have shot down a uh, poor little large scout with floaters, I believe. And we're going to show them who's boss. Demon, let's go. Everyone has flying suits, as you can see. We have our lovely Avenger, which is the pinnacle of XCOM and alien technology combined. Look at it. I mean, it's brilliant. And, uh, yeah, the aliens have pretty much had it at this point. There we go. There's an alien right there, and he's got a plasma rifle. How pathetic is that? Well, that wasn't really what I wanted, but okay. Ow, that's gonna hit. That's not gonna hit. Well, thank you, uh, but unfortunately our armor is way too strong. Let's uh, check this. Actually... Oh, 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 got hit there quite badly. One big fat guy, two fatal wounds. That must be a heavy plasma. Yep, it is. Darn it. Take that bastard out. Excellent. Right, let's, uh, let's get healed up, one big fat guy. Let's heal you. Somebody with a, uh, somebody with a med kit. Arcania Forbidden has one. Excellent. Help your buddy over here, Arcania. There we go. Two fatal wounds on the torso. Let's give him a painkiller as well. Wrap some dirt in it, you pansy. Actually, I, th I believe one big fat guy would just rub a hamburger over it. I don't feel nothing. I just feel bacon. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Nothing over here. Right. So, indeed, even the flying suits are not foolproof, of course. Uh, I mean, completely plasma-proof, uh, as they are... Oh, yeah. Still that guy over there. Darn it. Uh, they do have a lot of armor, but you're not invincible in them. Cuz Davidson, let's show what you can do. 69. That's always a good number, and apparently not. Damn it. That was a shame. Mr. Sukhoi. How about you show how it's done? You can't, because... Uh, uh, 26, that's not gonna work. Oh, oh, very nicely done, Sukhoi. You certainly show them how it's done. A little too close to Captain K over there, but we were higher than him, so it's not a huge problem. Let's uh, check this area over here. Carradin. I'm just gonna go forward, not really that afraid. The only problem is if they have a heavy plasma and start doing auto fire from up close. That can hurt a lot. Right, I love these exhausts on the back of the flying suits. Okie dokie. The Templar. Ah, now he's one of the really heavy guys here. Apart from one big fat guy, of course. He's got the big guns. If he decides something needs to die, <laughs> it will most certainly die. The same with Sigma. If these guys decide that they don't like something, it'll probably disappear. Forever. From the face of the Earth and the universe. There is no way it will survive. Oops. Well, let's get all the people outside so we can have a nice little party. We've got quite a few rookies with us, but that's alright. We'll uh, train them up. Walrux. Your uh, health is very low. For example, compared to uh, one big fat guy, you've got 25, he's got 41. That's almost double. But we're gonna train you all up. And I believe Walrux is, uh, has very low uh, health, but he's got very high... Uh, not really that high firing accuracy, but he's very brave, so he doesn't really give a crap. Wait, psionic... Wait, 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 wait. Psionic strength, 88. Where did we get that? I thought we... Sergeant Arcania Forbidden, 97. I thought we had to... Oh, three Gus Davidson. I thought we had to research that first in the psionic lab. Hmm. Oh, well. Sid Black, let's go that way. We've got so many people, it's crazy. And that's it, right? Oh, there's a guy with a rifle, he's not gonna do much. Ooh, ooh. 
Nicely done, Mr. Floater, but uh, that is not going to be enough. I do believe there is a hole on the top of the UFO. There is indeed, which is kind of nice because that gives us uh, several options to uh, go into the UFO. So, considering the... Yeah, I, I'm guessing that since there's a hole in the middle that the... Um, where is he? There. That the uh, power core is gone. So let's uh, let's try to shoot inside. No line of fire. Ah, darn it. I wanted to shoot inside. 24. We're probably going to miss, but... Oh, yeah, the core is gone. Oh, well. Ah, darn it. That's not going to do anything. Come on. Amano. All right. Captain K, let's go check this place out. 45 health, quite a lot. No open doors over here. If you see open doors, it's uh, usually because an alien is there. Uh, we've got a lot of people here. Gus Davidson. We know there is an alien... Yeah, right there. 37. 69 again, that's pretty good. Very nice. Nicely done. Was that the second kill for Gus Davidson? I think it was, right? It's pretty darn nice. Sequoia, so let's go and check out this... Uh, this building over here. I don't suppose there's anything there. Now the nice... Oh, I don't want to be facing away from the UFO and the back armor there. And now the nice thing about the flying armor is you don't actually need to uh, use doors. You can just blow a hole over here. Or you can go up like this and go through the roof. So it is kind of nice that way. Psychonaut. Let's make sure there's no one in here hiding, but if there were, they would have been shooting outside or opening the doors. I think I have too many people going this way, so let's... Uh, yeah. Still that guy over there, and I don't believe you can actually hit him. Yeah, no line of fire. Let's move a little forward then. 29, now we can't do an aim shot. That's, uh, that's a shame. 40. Ah... Darn it. <laughs> ah, these guys. Well, I could just uh, shoot that into the UFO, but it would be a huge overkill. 69 again. Let's go. Nice. Excellent. See, that is always the perfect number. You need 69 in your life. And that's a fact. <laughs> All right. Walrux. A rookie. We need these rookies to get some kills. Whoa! Whoa! Hello there. Let's uh, go down. Of course, they can fly as well, so they can just lob a grenade over there. But with the uh, with flying armor, I do believe our uh, explosive protection is pretty much 100% almost. If not 100%. <laughs> uh, demon. Let's go this way. Anything there? No. One big fat guy. You're okay now. You're a little... There's, there's bar. If this goes up, he'll fall unconscious, but not at the moment. Firing accuracy went down, unfortunately. So, uh... Let's take it easy a little bit, one big fat guy. Get some hamburgers when you come back. Yeah, let's, let's take it easy for now. Arcania Forbidden. Let's go this way as well. Bloody hell, these turns are taking forever now that uh, I have so many soldiers. Anyone there? Nope, not in the moment. I do believe that is about it. These guys will stay there at the ready and the turn. No? Nothing? I thought the floater was gonna float up and uh, kill someone. Or try to kill someone. Hello? Floaters? I do believe he uh, went out. Oh, no, no. Oh, there's another. Look at this devastation there. 26, 18. No line of fire. Uh. And now you can't see him at all? I thought you would. No? Ah. Right. Let's get uh, Devilkin over here. Actually, I think I'll just send my uh, less experienced soldiers to take care of these. I think I shall do that. 
Alright, that way. Let's uh, crouch as well, just in case. Um, Sid Black, can you actually take a shot at that guy from here? 35, 40%. Ah, shame. He's got a pistol. Oh, the poor guy. He's got a pistol. We can just stay there then. Even if he sh auto shots and uh, does, you know, hits with everything. He's not going to do any damage to us in flying suits. Well, we're going to have some more experienced guys at the ready over there. Arcania Forbidden can stay here. Now, these guys could also go this way and double check that there's... No other aliens around the UFO, but I believe quite a lot of U uh, aliens died in this uh, crash. So, Captain K. Anything here? Nope. Nope. And nope. I guess it's just in the UFO that I'm just gonna end the turn. Oh, he's running away. No, the poor guy. <laughs> Alrighty. Devilkin. This is your chance to shine. 74. Excellent. He might have been the last one. Nope. Nope. Not the last one. Walrux. Let's go and check if there's anyone else in here. There is. 27. Let's do an auto shot. Nice. Excellent. And that's still not it. Interesting. Oh. Yep, there's a guy with a heavy plasma there. Jezdemel. Ah, crap. Ah, shite. No. Ah. Can't actually shoot him now. Because Walrux is in the way. That's, uh, that's actually not good. I do believe we need the help of an experienced XCOM soldier. 21, 20. Come on, don't miss, please, demon. Shit. No line of fire. Crap. Well, that's actually not good at all now. Do we have anyone with enough time units? Sid Black cannot go over there. No. Crap. We don't have anyone. One big fat guy is way too far away. Yeah, way too far away. <sighs> Arcania Forbidden, do you have a smoke grenade? Darn it. This is bad. Now, there is a trick you can do in a situation like this. If you've got a stun guy, if you've got someone with a stun bomb nearby, you can stun your own soldiers. And providing the aliens don't throw any grenades, you can save them like that. So let's uh, prime this grenade. Right away. Grenade is activated. Oh, and now you... Oh, you don't have enough to throw it. Oh, that's that's brilliant. Didn't actually check how much it costed. One big fat guy, can you do that trick shot? That would be pretty good. I seriously doubt you can throw it there, yeah. Oh, not bad. Not bad, one big fat guy. Right, um, well, we, we do have a blaster bomb launcher, but this would be pretty suicidal because the blaster launcher going through this little space, it could hit a wall, so. Amano is here, but there is no way he would be able to reload. Let's see. And knock those guys unconscious. Let's try anyway, though. Not bad. Yeah, but they're not unconscious. Not even close. Walrux is. Which actually is a good thing, because... If he's lucky enough that he only loses like half of the health with some of the shots, he will fall unconscious instead of dying. So, uh, let's send a turn. There's the smoke bomb. And he's... Oh, he's got a... Does he have a pistol? Or is that a heavy plasma? That was so lucky. Did that smoke bomb actually... Uh... No, that was a heavy plasma. Did that smoke bomb actually do the trick then? One big fat guy, you've just saved your buddies. That was excellent. Seven alien skills. Uh, nah, nah, navigation allies. Well, at least we got some allies. No um, Illyrium, though. 
Uh, one big fat guy promoted to colonel and Jesdemo, the third promoted to sergeant. Nice. Now, the perfect thing would be to have just one alien base somewhere that we can uh, farm for, for supply ships. That would be rather nice. Fusion missile. This launcher fires a ball-shaped missile powered by antimatter reaction. The ball destroys the target with a gravity wave implosion. <laughs> <laughs> what gravity wave implosion? Aren't we talking about anti-gravity? That's pretty destructive in its own right. Oh well. 230 damage compared to the blaster launcher's 200. But of course this is fusion defense. There we go. This is a different kind of battle here. Fusion ball launcher! Fusion ball hover tank launcher with a fusion ball. Wow. But I still prefer people. Now, excellent progress. A lot of countries are particularly happy with my progress. I don't know why, because uh, I haven't done much. Medium scout, alien terror. Oops. Let's send Mr. Pid over here. They are on a terror mission, which kind of sucks. It's a medium scout, though. But where are we? Yeah, we were over water. So let's uh, shoot them down here. Oh. I have to do it here, of course. It's just this little scout. Yeah, I, I need some UFOs to land, because this kind of sucks. Alright. Demon. Oh! Hello there. Oh! Now, the, usually the, uh, the best thing to do... Oh, Kenya forbidden. The best thing to do is just wait out the first turn. But hey... What fun is that, right? 62, I'm gonna do this. I can do two shots, darn it. Darn it! Arcania, ow! Ow, that uh, quite hurt. That heavy plasma, one fatal wound. Gotta be careful. No, don't show him your, uh, your back, that would be bad. Arcania forbidden, how much to go there? 29 time units, yeah, that could work. But that's right at the UFO entrance. Let's go over there. Hello there. Die! Oh. One shot? That was a really lucky shot. They usually don't die in just one. As you might have noticed already. Amano. Um, there's little reason to stun the mutants, unfortunately, because they... They're, they're, they're just warriors. They, they're not a, uh, you know... Oh, actually, this might not have been the best idea. Uh, damn. Let's crouch. Uh, yeah, they're warriors. They don't usually have leaders. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to stun them inside that UFO. Just in case there's still a... Um, yeah, very small map. Just in case there's still a uh, power core in there. So, of course, if you hit the power core, it's gonna go boom! And you're not gonna get any Illyrium. But knowing my luck and the amount of damage we did... The uh, power core is probably already gone. So, oh well. And yeah, let's get a couple of rookies. Well, they're squaddies, but you know. It's all the same thing to me. There. And let's end the turn. Yep, they're coming in and out! Oh, there's another one over there. Hello there. You missed. And you man didn't miss. You actually hit us. I love the flying suit, it's so good. As you can see, where are we? Gus Davidson, not even a scratch. Wait, was, wasn't there a guy over there? Hmm, not sure now. 69. Ah, that was pathetic, Gus. That was rather pathetic. Right, um... Oh, there's a guy, Sukhoi. Let's go and uh, say hello to this guy. Hello! Die! Die! Nice. Alright, I'm not going to open the doors. Because then you have to commit. Because if you open the doors and then bring people in, they're gonna get shot. By anyone still inside. Hello there! He might not uh, go for one shot though. Oh, he did. Nice. Anyone in here? No. Good. So... We just gotta deal with that guy over there. Captain K, let's have a nice aimed shot. 
80% I said nice aim shot, 80% I didn't say 10% oh, There we go, ah! Shame, oh well Anyway, we're gonna continue next time <laughs> This is a piece of cake here Thanks for watching, bye bye